Nehemiah 4, 12 through 14. Also during this time, the Jews who lived near therein kept coming to us and saying ten times, Wherever you turn, they will assail you. So, the Jews were worried about the enemies coming against them. They were worried about them taking up and preventing them from doing this work. You know, the enemies against us from doing the work of God. Yet, we need to keep prevailing, trusting in the Lord, letting Him carry us to where we should be going. Verse 13. Then I placed the people by families having their swords, spears, and bows behind the wall as it is lowest most often places. So he put them in the places where, that were vulnerable. Places that would most likely be attacked. Um, God wants to defend us in our weaknesses. He wants our weakness to be a strength in him. And oftentimes this is because. That's where the enemies want to attack. Where we're weakest. So we need to let him defend. We need to let him protect us. We need to put up defenses in those areas by looking at the Bible, our sword, and sharpening defense in that area because that's where the enemy will attack. Verse 14. After which, having approved the stationing, I rose and encouraged the nobles and rulers and the rest of the people, saying, It's not fear. Do not fear them. Remember the Lord is great and dreadful to fight. So fight your brothers. For your brothers and your sons and your daughters and your wives and your homes. So what he's doing is motivating them to keep doing God's work. We as Christians need to encourage one another. Because the enemy in this world is going to do everything to bring us down. And we need to do everything we can to lift one another up. Verse 15. 